Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith Jacobs, STEM specialist for Illinois 4-H and on this beautiful Maker Monday, we bring you a quick build where we will be making a fish tank. No, not a fish tank like this, but one like this. Nope, there we go, like that. That's right, an old repurposed G3 iMac circa 1998. While in 1998, it was a groundbreaking piece of tech with a 15 inch screen, a four gigabyte hard drive, and a blazing 33 megabytes of RAM, Today this thing would surely crash if trying to load a modern site and is much better suited as a modern fish tank. If you like what you're seeing thus far, be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel for future content like this. So moving along, I had seen some old iMac inspired tanks in the past and even thought about buying a kit, but decided to scratch build it as all the parts can be purchased locally and fabricated for pennies on the dollar when compared to online options. As you can see me doing here, I wanted to extract everything from the computer except the frame, the CD tray, the base, and the speakers. All of the other components will be used for spare parts and other DIY projects. All I really needed was a tiny 2.5 to 3 gallon tank which I made from acrylic at a local fab lab, again from watching a YouTube video, a tiny fish tank heater, a filter and a pump, as well as a thermometer. I also went with the cheap USB LED strip that I had laying around. I wanted to be able to charge my phone through the existing USB jacks, so I kept the port frame and added my own female to male USB plugs that would go to the main power source. I then fit everything back together and test fit the custom tank. I then ran all of the wires, including those for the USB, heater, pump, and LEDs. Then I ran the LEDs over the top of the tank and plugged them in. I then cleaned all the tabs and rotary tooled any excess plastic that would prevent the pieces from coming together smoothly or the lid from not closing. I then used plastic polish to buff out any imperfections and scratches that came over the past 22 plus years. I then connected everything to a three outlet extension cord which also had USB inputs for the two USB ports and the LED strips. This all tucked nicely underneath the base plate. I knew I wanted a Mario themed tank, so I ordered some officially branded miniature statues online. Some things you can just buy, but others you have to make. So in Tinkercad, I designed some scene accessories, sliced, printed them, and cleaned them up. I then primed everything in a white, environmentally safe acrylic paint, then hand painted them with acrylic. Once my figurines came, I sealed them in an environmentally safe clear coat. I then did the same to all of the pieces, both purchased and printed. Finally, it was time to take some tank decorations, cool glow rocks, hot glue and our silicone, and our sealed pieces and get creative. This is what I came up with. out looking pretty dope. Please keep in mind that the tank had been left unkept with no fish or anything for over two months so some algae had begun to build up and just kind of take over the tank but overall I was very happy with the build and I can't wait to start preparing it for fish. If you like this video and want to see more like this let us know. Like and subscribe and we will catch you next time on another episode of Maker Monday. Peace!